Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Star Realms. In the last video, we faced off against the Lost Fleet. I actually managed to uh, complete these, or maybe I did these off camera. It's been a while since I've actually played. There's a significant gap between when I recording, recorded part three and I am recording part four, but now we're going to deal with some blasts from the past. After blunting their attack, you hail the Lost Fleet and convince High Admiral Yoakum you mean no harm. Yoakum apologizes for his mistake. In the months since his fleet entered the warp, they've faced non-stop assaults by interdimensional creatures. He didn't recognize your fleet's markings and misjudged you for another enemy. The High Admiral is astounded when you explain it's not been months, but centuries since his fleet's disappearance. The Lost Fleet departs to explore their new time period, and soon after, you face a new threat. More ships from the past, pouring out of the rift. You scan no lifeforms aboard, but some unknown force seems to control them. Prepare for combat. All right, and it looks at like the achievements for this mission are exclusive. You can either win by the end of the 15th turn or win after the 20th turn and also win after activating 10 or more tech abilities. This one might be a longer video. You start at the start of each side's turn that side will require a random ship or base from the past into their hand. The start of acquiring low cost cards and the more powerful cards as the game continues. You start with a stealth tech card. Okay I do actually remember playing this one on iPad and if you do want to pick this game up as actually we got a solar skiff here. If you do want to actually pick up one of these uh, games via uh, iPad or iOS, Google Play. I've got links to all of that in the store here. My stealth ability pays to choose a faction you count as an additional card of that faction and play this turn. My deck is standard, so I could pay two to draw a card, but that doesn't really help me all that much. I'm kind of thinking going for the long hauler, but the mobile market would give me some static defense. I'm going to go for him first. And let's see what, uh, looks like a Federation shuttle got dropped into his hand. And I'm going to get a Stellar Reef. Okay, this will actually work with a Spike Cluster if I grab him, which I'm gonna. Ooh, lasers. Orbital Shuttle, though. Because with the Spike Cluster, the Mobile Market, hopefully I can get the Orbital Shuttle to activate a few times. Blob Alpha is looking mighty nice. Repair Bot. Yeah, it gives him two trade. And I picked up a Ram. Ooh, I get some punching now. Um, I can't even pick up Blob Alpha. So... I got that going for me. Patrol cutter, which means I'm probably... No, sweet. I actually keep everything. And wow. Just have a lot of abilities here. Oh, wow. I think I'm going to be able to get the Transit Nexus this turn. Me likey. Yoink. Okay. I've got some good defenses done up. Now I think it's time for me to start focusing on other things. Uh, let's see. Hmm... It does tell me I have to have, you know, 10 of these abilities done. So let's go ahead and do that. Also picking up a Guidance. I'm trying to remember, you know, do... Oh, Blob Destroyer. That's going to hurt me a lot. Um, it does tell me I need to have at least 10 of these abilities active. Damn it, a Fence Center? Dang, son. All right, I'm going to go for some trade here because I'm absolutely grabbing that Ion Station this turn. Go ahead and grab him. Okay, Stellar Link is fine. I'm going to scrap one of the Stellar Links. I don't think I need that too desperately. We'll do this guy here. Grab a Frontier Hawk. Do some serious punching to the enemy's face. A Battle Mech coming into play. Come on. No, dang it. Oh, it's his draw card. So I thought this was the one that lets you destroy base ability. Oh, a plasma vent. Dang. All right, so I'll go for some attacks here. I need to get some uh, cards to let me scrap. Hell yeah. Gotta love the Transit Nexus. Okay, I'm gonna grab that Destroyer Bot, Moonworm Hatchling. Cargo craft. 
I'm totally up with this whole having a massive line of defenses. Plasma vents. Okay, so they got the exact same thing I did. That was a cost six, by the way, that we both picked up on that last turn. So I'm going to get some serious play here. The central office. Hey, this is a good one. You may put the next ship you acquire this turn on top of your deck. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the repair mech for that. We get the draw ability. And I'm going to use this guy to put a base from my discard pile on top of my deck. I'll put the transit nexus up top. Play out everything. Go ahead, scrap the blob miner. Get some punching. Work my way through these lines. Can't take out the plasma vent, unfortunate. One thing I will admit I wish I could uh, see differently with this new thing is almost have a second row. You have this one row where it's just like all your bases and whatnot stacked up. But the problem is, well, one, I have no bases left. Two, oh my god, a Leviathan. Um, which means they're also going to get a Leviathan on this next turn, I believe. Is they should have the techs in one column and the bases in another column, so I'm not scrolling back and forth. It would go a heck of a lot easier, I think. Okay, we're gonna need that and that. Absolutely get that hive queen. And I will go ahead and play to have the blob. This lets me acquire a card of three or less, put it straight in my hand. I'm gonna grab the burrower for some more attacks. Draw up. And let me scrap out one of these scouts. I like it. We're hitting left. Brain World. Oh, Jesus. If I can get that, I'd be happy. Brain World's going to let you scrap out a bunch of stuff. And there goes my mobile market and my transit nexus. Fine. Ooh, I like that. Discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Bye-bye, scout. Damn, that's almost worse. Are you kidding me? I'm short. I wanted one of these guys, to be honest. Okay. Um, four and four. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm actually going to scrap out the swarm cluster as much as I want it. I want to make sure that they can't get it. Do that guy, do that. Okay, cool. I've got the 10 tech abilities. A predator. Really? That's cost two. I wasn't expecting the low cost card to come out here. Hey, a flagship. That's good. Go ahead, discard him. Do that there. This is three or destroy target base. Hang on a second. I think I'm going to go for the three here to grab that Imperial flagship. Ooh, shield. That's always a good one. What turn am I on right now? Okay, so this is actually pretty much my... This is the turn I can win it on. So let's go ahead and win this mission. Uh, got 26 attack. It says win by the end of the 15th turn, which should be where I'm at here. Or I just completely threaded the needle. I totally did. Damn it. Alright, had I waited one more turn, though, I would have actually gotten the win after the 20th turn. I think we're on turn... 39 or something weird, but was able to actually get this one done first try. Nice. Um, I could have waited a little bit. Hopefully you can't click through and see what they had next, but next video, uh, next weekend, we'll start going into the next part. I've looked at parts five and six on the iPad, and oh man, they are tough. Now though, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.